sorry, we're breaking protocol here. That's all right. That's the good thing about being president. I can, I can do whatever I want. Well, that was President Obama today on a tour of President Jefferson's home with French President Francois Hollande, saying he, as president, can do whatever he wants since he's the president. He was joking, of course, but that joke is getting some extra scrutiny. After the White House announced big new changes to the health care law today, among other changes in recent days. Judge Andrew Napolitano is our Fox News senior judicial analyst. Let me just start with one that we talked about on Friday because it has security implications for the United States. And right. that is the president unilaterally changed a law to allow immigrants deemed to only have limited terror contacts into the country. Their defense was, we're talking about people who had to pay some terrorist a fine every day to cross over a bridge that the terrorists controlled. We're not talking about bin Laden's inner associates. If the Congress of the United States had written the laws that limit the entry of terrorists into the United States that way, there's an argue in f argument in favor of it and there's an argument against it. But the Congress didn't write the law that way. The Congress forbade the president from permitting to come into the United States anyone who has aided a terrorist or a terrorist organization, voluntarily or involuntarily. But to this president, if he disagrees with the law, he can change it on his own. You and I have talked about this almost every Monday night. It seems to be getting worse and worse. We and keep he, getting new examples. Yes, some uh, even more egregious than this. This is a very serious one because this will affect the national security of the United States. This will affect the FBI. This will affect the CIA. This will affect common crime in the streets all because he, on his own, decided to rework the law in a way the Congress never did. And he did it very quietly. There was no big public announcement of it. I mean, there was. It was published in the federal record, but there was no press release, that kind of thing, until Senator Patrick Leahy, uh, who has been pushing for this from Vermont, came out and said, hooray, hallelujah, and everybody else was like, what? What are you talking about? So he does this on his own. Then today we get the on his own big change of delaying the part of the health care law that requires employers to insure their people until 2016. Megan, he would say, Megan, judge, I told you, I have a pen and I have a telephone. And I'm the president, so and I can I'm do whatever the president, I want. I can do whatever I want. Now, he may have said the last thing at, at Jefferson's house as, as a joke, yeah. but that's revealing his inner thoughts. He certainly didn't say as a joke, I have a pen and I have a telephone, because he has used that pen and used that telephone materially to alter the law. Look, 27 if, times. If he supplements or complements the law with an executive uh, order, that's a good thing. Mm -hmm. It helps the people that work for him in the executive branch to understand what he wants. But his job is to enforce the law faithfully, meaning as it was written, not as he would like it to be. And how about now making the IRS extract p under penalty of perjury affirmations from people who want to change their the workup of their business. He absolutely cannot do that. He cannot create a crime. And when he says, in order to do X, you must swear that you're not doing Y. And if you don't swear that you're not doing Y, it's perjury. He is creating a crime, which he absolutely is forbidden from doing. It's incredible to empower the IRS like that under you know current day and times. All well. of this comes down to a president who believes he is majestic, not to make fun of our lovable friend Geraldo, who believes that he has a certain ability far beyond what the Constitution has given him. And unless a court or unless the Congress stops him, we'll have more of these to talk about. Mm -hmm. Every Monday night when I'm on with you, mm -hmm. there's another one of the these Democrats that you are not going to be happy about these precedents when the Republicans control the White House. Judge, good to see you. Pleasure, Megan.